showed you last time were the various ways to reproduce a fake fingerprint. Now we're going to show you the practical example on what those fake fingerprints look like on the actual image sensor. So what we have here is a demo program, and this demo program is going to show the image of the captured fingerprint. So first we're going to demonstrate a real fingerprint, show you what a real fingerprint looks like. Okay, there you go, there's a real fingerprint image. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate what a paper image would look like on that sensor. Okay, there's a paper image enrolled on the system. As you can see, it looks somewhat similar to a real fingerprint. Okay, now we're going to show you what a rubber image looks like on the sensor. Okay, there you go, it's like a rubber image on the sensor. Now you don't need the full image on the sensor, all we need is a few lines and grooves to determine if it's a valid finger or not. So this still can be detected. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate what a silicone fake image looks like on the sensor. Okay, there's a silicone image, what it looks like on the sensor. As you said last time, the silicone is almost similar to a fingerprint, so it can almost be detected. Okay, what we showed you last time are the various ways uh, what the fingerprint image looks like to the sensor. So now we're going to actually enroll a fake finger on the system and show you how it actually gives you access to the sense system. So we're going to just take one, for example, the silicone image. We're going to enroll that on the system now. Okay. The fake silicon image is now enrolled in the system. Just get a better image here. And we're going to save that to the database. And now we're going to verify that image. So that same fake finger on the right side of the screen is the verification of the enrolled image. As you can see, it was success in matching. So we're going to try again and show you one more time. There you go, success to match. So that fake finger actually worked on accessing the system. Okay, what we showed you last time was the enrollment of an actual fake finger on the system. We used the silicon image. So now what we're going to do is show you our live finger technology detection and we're going to now enable the live detect and show you how the system protects against fake fingers. So we'll turn on the live detect now. And we're going to first and try to enroll a paper image, a real image, show you what it looks like. So a real image is accepted by the sensor. Okay, now we're going to show you what a paper image would look like with the live finger detection enabled. Okay, we're going to enroll it. And the first attempt, the system is failing to enroll the fake finger in the system. Yes, the paper image is not accepted on the system. Okay, 
Okay, now we'll try it one more time. The fake fingerprint on our live detect technology. And again, it's not accepting the finger, the fake fingerprint on the system. Okay, now we're going to try a rubber image, see if the rubber image will be accepted on the live finger detection. Okay, we're going to try to unroll the rubber image. And again, the system fails to enroll the fake finger. Okay, we're going to try the silicon. Show you how it will not enroll on the system. There we go. As you can see, it's not enrolling on the system, which is what we're trying to do is protect against fake fingers from unrolling on the system. Okay, now we're going to show you how it actually applies to our product. Our product has the same technology what our demo program has. So we're going to show you by putting our real registered enrolled finger on the system. Okay, the system obviously accepted a real enrolled finger on the system. Okay, now we're going to put a piece of paper. Now this is again with the live detect turned on. Again, our product is protecting against the fake paper image. It won't accept it in the system. I'll try it now. Okay. I'll try it, I'll try it, I'll try it now. Now we're going to try the rubber I'll image. Try it now. See if the rubber image is accepted on the system. Now in this particular case the rubber image is not accepted also. And lastly, we'll try the silicon image. As you can see, the silicon image is not accepted on the system. Now that sensor on our product is the same as a demo sensor. Okay. Okay, just to summarize, what we demonstrated today was to show you how easy it is to reproduce fingerprints, from paper fingerprints to silicon, the film fingerprints. Then we demonstrated to you what that image actually looks like to the camera sensor. And then we enrolled that fake fingerprint image on the system, show you what it looked like. And we showed you that the image was accepted on a regular sensor without live finger detection. Then we demonstrated for you the ability for our sensor to detect against fake fingers. Now all our sensors, this sensor here, this sensor, and this sensor, are all the same. They all have the live fingerprint detection built in on the sensor.